What's up, everybody? <clears throat> B-Boy Spaz here. Still feeling a little sick, as usual. <laughs> but today, we're actually going to be talking about rewiring Ableton and Reason. Because pretty much, Reason is one of the hottest programs, but it's, it's best used as a slave. So, I feel everyone should use Reason. There's no reason why you should not use Reason. Um... Even if you're using other programs, Reason's still good to use because it's just, it's just awesome. So pretty much rewiring is the ability to let two programs pretty much act in total sync with each other, almost as if they were one. Um, I started doing this a lot with Ableton and Reason because, you know, Reason can't record at all. You can't record vocals in it, um, anything of that sort, unless you run it through another program and blah blah long story so first thing you want to always do is the master is always open first so live is gonna be my master and then the other program that's gonna be rewired to the master is called the slave so here we have lovely live He's like, ha, 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 I'm the master. So let's give him a slave. So we're going to go ahead and just open up Reason next. Yeah. Okay. So now they're synced up. If I play Reason, Live plays. And if I play Live, Reason plays. They work in total sync. Um, If I change the tempo, it changes. Everything changes. The one thing now, though, is there's no audio. So what you have to do in live is actually set up one of your audio tracks. Change your input to reason. And now you can change to any of the inputs on reason. Now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to talk about the quick and easy way to do it, which is basically pick reason and pick mix left right and that's it and then you turn on the monitor so these are all your settings here and it should look just like this now in reason just so you know what your mix left right is up here at the top you have all your audio inputs and outputs and how everything is going and as you see here it's showing me that reason right now is in rewired mode if I hit tab to flip around to the back these are those inputs that I was seeing on live and your mix left right are gonna be the first two so that's mix left right here as you see as it popped up so that's what all these are and on the next tutorial I'll actually talk about how to set it up to use reasons MIDI and audio and live but the way I have it set up right now is just so you use reason like you normally would and then you would use live like you normally would but they're working together now oh yeah my MIDI's not set up good job I should have did this earlier. There. Something wrong with my keyboard. It keeps holding notes. I'm not really down with that. But as you see, I'm playing here. And it's picking up the sound here and live. So what I would do then is just treat it normally. I would record like so. But then I could also do all my live stuff. And now let's actually open up a track. Just so you can get a look at what I was just talking about. Don't want to save that. 
Do 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 do. What? I did not did that one in reason. Okay. Let's pick something different. So this was a beat I really didn't like. So please don't judge me. <laughs> it's a Rick James sample. I mean it's all right. I just gotta. I don't know. I don't really like it. like normal all my midi and everything I also got my sample and everything here and live and I'm just feeding reason into live and now they're working together so that is the easiest way to rewire live and reason all right